All around us, in our coins, our jewelry, even our bodies are elements forged inside stars. For decades, scientists thought they had the story figured out. Heavy elements form when atomic nuclei capture neutrons. Sometimes slowly, that's the S process, and sometimes in a violent burst, the R process, which happens in extreme environments like neutron star mergers. But then, astronomers found stars that didn't fit the rules. When researchers analyzed their light, they saw strange ratios of heavy elements, patterns that neither the S process nor the R process could explain. Something was missing. That something is the I process, short for Intermediate Neutron Capture Process. A long overlooked idea first proposed in 1977 and then rediscovered in the last decade. The I process sits between the slow and rapid processes. It happens in environments with moderate neutron densities, stronger than the Esperosis, but far below the explosive Arperosis. And this in-between state seems to create a unique chemical fingerprint, one that perfectly matches these mysterious stars. But understanding the I process is incredibly hard. It produces elements through reactions involving unstable nuclei, which means scientists can't measure the key data directly. Instead, Experimental physicists like Mathis Wiedeking use particle accelerators, gamma ray detectors, and indirect techniques to recreate these reactions and extract crucial nuclear properties. Meanwhile, theorists build massive interconnected models, comparing predictions to the chemical abundances observed in real stars. It has a constant cycle. Astronomers spot anomalies, gives theorists model them, gives experimentalists measure the missing data gives. The models get refined, and beyond explaining cosmic mysteries, this research matters on Earth, too. Better neutron capture data helps design next-generation nuclear reactors, improve medical isotope production, and support national security technologies. Over the next decade, scientists expect an explosion of new data from experiments worldwide. With enough measurements, we may finally determine whether the eye process can reach elements as heavy as the actinides, or if it stops around bismuth like the Esprosa. One thing is clear. The eye process isn't just filling a gap in stellar physics. It's revealing an entirely new pathway by which the universe builds the elements that make up everything. Everything.